Ever wondered why arguing with a narcissist feels like trying to climb a mountain with no peak in sight? This feeling stems from the unique challenges that arise when engaging in disputes with narcissists. From fueling their need for control to falling victim to their emotional manipulation, the reasons are numerous and complex. Even attempts at logical reasoning can feel like a battle with a brick wall, and the resulting loss of control can be damaging. So, what are these reasons that make arguing with a narcissist a futile exercise? Let's delve into it. The first reason is fueling the fire. Narcissists thrive on drama and conflict. They feed off the energy of an argument, using it to stoke their own ego and validate their need for control. When you argue with them, you're essentially handing them a match and a can of gasoline. They'll use your words and emotions against you, twisting the narrative until you're left feeling frustrated and confused. Next up is emotional manipulation. Narcissists are masters of manipulation. They know exactly how to pull your strings, using guilt trips, gaslighting, and even emotional blackmail to turn the argument in their favor. Before you know it, you're left feeling responsible for their behavior, isolated and doubting your own reality. The third reason is no logical reasoning. Narcissists lack empathy and struggle with objective perspectives. Their arguments are often circular, based on personal opinions and inflated self-importance rather than logic or facts. Trying to reason with a narcissist is like arguing with a brick wall. It's futile and exhausting. Then, there's loss of control. When you engage in an argument with a narcissist, you're essentially giving them power over your emotions. They know just how to push your buttons, triggering your anger or frustration. This loss of control can damage your well-being and self-esteem, leaving you feeling powerless. Finally, we have escalation and damage. Arguments with narcissists can escalate quickly, leading to verbal abuse or even physical harm. The emotional turmoil they cause can lead to emotional breakdowns, affecting your mental health and overall well-being. It's crucial to prioritize your safety and avoid any situations that could escalate to this level. These are just the first five reasons. There's more to this than meets the eye. Moving on to the sixth reason, loss of energy and focus. Engaging in an argument with a narcissist is like running on a treadmill that only speeds up. You're putting in a lot of effort but going nowhere. This mental and emotional exercise is draining, sapping your energy and diverting your focus from the things that truly matter in your life. Next, we have validation of their victimhood. Narcissists are adept at turning tables. When you argue, they often manipulate the narrative to portray themselves as the victim. This not only reinforces their distorted self-image, but also invalidates your feelings and experiences. The eighth reason is no closure or resolution. Narcissists rarely, if ever, admit fault or apologize. They are notorious for their inability to take responsibility for their actions. So if you're seeking closure or resolution through arguing, you're likely to be left hanging with no genuine remorse or admission of guilt coming your way. Deeper entanglement is the ninth reason. Arguing can paradoxically bind you tighter to the narcissist. They may use your reactions and your words to justify their actions, making it even more challenging for you to break free from their manipulative grip. Lastly, we have prioritizing your well-being. Plain and simple, arguing with a narcissist is a waste of your time and energy. It's a battle you cannot win and a game you don't need to play. Instead, focus on setting boundaries, disengaging from their drama, and putting your mental and emotional health first. These are the reasons that make arguing with a narcissist not just unproductive, but potentially harmful. Remember, you have the right and the power to protect yourself from emotional harm. Choose to disengage, reclaim your power, and channel your resources towards healing and growth. Let's quickly recap the 10 reasons we just discussed. First, arguing with a narcissist fuels their ego and gives them a sense of control, validating their need for drama and conflict. Second, they are master manipulators, often using guilt trips and gaslighting to turn the argument in their favor. Third, their lack of empathy and objective reasoning makes arguing with them as productive as debating with a brick wall. Fourth, such engagements give the narcissist power over your emotions and can cause you to lose control. Fifth, these arguments can escalate quickly, leading to verbal abuse or even physical harm. Therefore, it's crucial to prioritize your safety above all else. The sixth reason is the loss of energy and focus. Engaging with a narcissist is emotionally and mentally draining, 
taking away from other aspects of your life. Seventh, they can twist the narrative to validate their false image of victimhood, invalidating your experiences. Eighth, seeking closure through arguing is futile as narcissists rarely apologize or take responsibility for their actions. Ninth, arguing can deepen your entanglement in their web, making it harder to break free from their control. And tenth, it's essential to prioritize your well-being above all else. Arguing with a narcissist is ultimately a waste of your time and energy. Instead, focus on setting boundaries, disengaging from their drama, and prioritizing self-care. Understanding these reasons is key to disengaging from an unproductive argument. So, why is it important to disengage from arguments with narcissists? Well, your mental health and well-being should always take precedence. Narcissists are known for their ability to drain energy and focus, leaving you feeling emotionally and mentally exhausted. This can impact your ability to function in other aspects of your life, from work to relationships. Furthermore, engaging in arguments with narcissists can lead to a deeper entanglement in their web of manipulation. This makes it harder for you to break free and protect your emotional health. By choosing not to engage, you're reclaiming your power and setting an important boundary for your well-being. This is not an act of surrender, but an act of self-preservation. Choosing to disengage from an unproductive argument is a conscious decision to protect your mental and emotional health. Remember, your well-being matters. Choose not to engage in arguments that drain you emotionally and mentally.